Understanding the journey of water from the highest mountain streams to the abyssal depths of the sea provides insight into the complexity of the various aquatic ecosystems that dot our planet. This film moves through the numerous zones developed through millennia of geological and ecological processes, each shaping habitats and influencing the evolution of a diverse array of aquatic life forms. The interplay between freshwater, brackish, and marine systems, especially evident in nutrient-rich estuaries, highlights the rich biodiversity supported by these transitions. By examining the classification of aquatic environments, we gain insights into ecological dynamics, conservation necessities, and the impact of human activities on these systems. This exploration, which starts in the mountain peaks and travels to the ocean abyss, underscores the profound interconnectedness of Earth's water systems and their pivotal role in sustaining global biodiversity. The journey begins in mountain streams, originating in high-altitude realms from snowmelt and rainfall. Characterized by clear, cold, and oxygen-rich waters, these streams owe their vitality to rapid flow and extensive contact with the atmosphere. The vigorous currents foster a community of organisms adapted to these conditions, including trout and stoneflies. Mountain streams, which act as biodiversity hotspots, play an indispensable role in nutrient cycling, with swift waters distributing organic materials. Seasonal variability in flow rates introduces dynamic changes in the habitat structures and life cycles of resident organisms, marking these streams as vital indicators of ecological health. Water then flows into broader, more serene rivers and streams, marking a transition from rapid oxygenated flows to wider, slower-moving bodies of water where ecosystem diversity flourishes. These habitats support a variety of fish, amphibians, invertebrates, and aquatic plants, along with birds, mammals, and reptiles. Sediments deposited on riverbanks and islands add further complexity to these systems, shaped by seasonal rhythms. Streams and rivers act as ecological corridors, connecting habitats and facilitating nutrient and organism distribution. Yet pollution's impact becomes more pronounced, threatening these ecosystems' delicate balance. Beyond their ecological value, rivers and streams have profound cultural and economic significance, having cradled human civilizations throughout history. As water flows into lakes and ponds, these water bodies are characterized by standing waters. Exhibiting distinct stratification, they affect temperature and oxygen distribution. The pelagic and benthic zones, alongside the limnetic and littoral zones, present a gradient of environmental conditions supporting life forms adapted to each unique condition. From plankton and fish in the limnetic zone to plants and animals thriving in the shallow littoral zone, these standing waters highlight the diversity of life and intricate relationships within aquatic ecosystems. The exploration leads to wetlands. These are ecosystems where water is present at or near the surface year-round. They are critical for their role in water purification. Acting as natural filters, they trap pollutants and sediments, absorb excess water during floods, contribute to carbon sequestration, and provide vital habitats for a diverse range of species. Despite their ecological functions, wetlands are among the most threatened ecosystems, facing challenges from agricultural drainage, urban development, and pollution. Estuaries, where freshwater mixes with saltwater, form unique ecosystems crucial as nurseries for many marine species, providing protection and abundant food sources. Supporting diverse communities adapted to variable salinity, they enhance adjacent environments' productivity and significantly contribute to the global fish catch. Estuaries also serve as natural buffers, protecting inland areas from storm surges and flooding. However, they are vulnerable to pollution, overfishing, and climate change impacts, necessitating conservation and sustainable management to preserve their biodiversity and ecosystem services. The story continues into the tidal zones, where land and sea meet, inhabited by species with unique adaptations to cope with environmental stresses. 
characterized by high biodiversity. These zones support life forms ranging from algae and barnacles to shorebirds and crabs. This zone offers essential ecosystem services including coastal protection and acting as filters for pollutants. However, as they are sensitive to human activities like coastal development and pollution, these areas require careful management and conservation. Moving from the tidal zones, we enter to the neuritic zone, which spans from the shoreline to the edge of the continental shelf. It is known for its high biological productivity which results from ample sunlight and nutrient-rich waters. Supporting vast marine ecosystems such as coral reefs, kelp forests, and seagrass meadows, the neuritic zone is crucial for commercial fishing, yet it faces threats from overfishing, pollution and climate change impacts. Beyond the continental shelf lies the expansive oceanic zone, categorized by depth into layers, each hosting unique life forms. The epipelagic or sunlight zone, reaching down to about 200 meters, is illuminated enough for photosynthesis to support a diverse community of marine life, including large fish, whales and sea turtles, alongside primary production by phytoplankton. Descending into the mesopelagic or twilight zone, which extends from 200 to 1,000 meters, light diminishes, temperatures drop, and bioluminescent organisms becoming a common sight. Further down, the bathypelagic or midnight zone stretches from 1 to 4,000 meters into complete darkness and high pressure. This zone is inhabited by species adapted to the absence of light and rely on organic matter from above for sustenance. Finally, we reach the abyssopelagic zone, which extends from 4,000 meters to the ocean floor. It is typified by near freezing temperatures and sparse life which includes sea cucumbers and squids adapted to these extreme conditions. Covering the entire ocean floor is the benthic zone, from shallow coastal waters to the deepest ocean trenches. This zone is rich in species such as crabs, starfish, and deep sea fish, each adapted to life away from sunlight. This descent through aquatic ecosystems from mountain streams to the ocean's deepest reaches reveals the intricate web of life in unique conditions in each zone, highlighting the diversity of aquatic environments and emphasizing the interconnectedness of water systems and the critical importance of conserving these vital ecosystems. Thank you for considering aquatic zones with aquabioculture. We're committed to sustainable aquaculture and the conservation of biodiversity. For more on our initiatives or to join our efforts, please contact us. Your support is vital in protecting these species for a sustainable future. Thank you for your commitment to environmental stewardship.